Block of the week time. Today I'm going to show you how you can show the products your customers have recently viewed anywhere on your website. Block of the week, block of the week. Yeah, block of the week. Which block is it going to be? Well, you will have to stick around, my friend, and maybe you will see. Before we start, a quick explanation of why you might want to show your customers recently viewed products on your WooCommerce store. The main reason is they're more likely to, to then go back and purchase them from you because they've already looked at them. And what you can do is then represent these back to your customers and then make it easy for them to see them, click on them and purchase them. Now WooCommerce already comes with a widget that lets you display your recently viewed products. And it is actually one of my favorite widgets that comes with WooCommerce. We can see an example here on this screen can you see over on the right, we've got this recently viewed product section here, which is just displaying any products that I've looked at as I've been browsing through the store. So I don't need to be logged in. It just happens automatically. And this is where you actually see it in uh, WooCommerce. You'll see there's just this recently viewed products list. And this is just a free widget that comes with uh, WooCommerce. But we thought, because we developed WooCommerce plugins, wouldn't it be great if you could actually show customers your recently viewed products or the products they recently viewed on the site as a Gutenberg block because this would give you much more freedom than to display this on your shop page or on your category pages or on landing pages or on the my account page. So that's what we set out to do and that's what we've built. So we now have a recently viewed products block within the Storefront Blocks plugin, which is a uh, premium plugin, it's not a free plugin. Uh, you can find more details at, at storefrontblocks.com or on our website, poodlepress.com. But let me show you how it works. So not only does it let you display your customers recently viewed products anywhere on the on your WooCommerce site, but it also lets you display them in any layout you like. And each layout that that is available is also customizable. So it's very very flexible in terms of how you show these. Let me just show you a few examples of where this has been used. So you can see these live examples on um, this website, storefrontblocks.com. I've I've built some examples for you. Uh, and then we've got this recently viewed products page, which just which just shows you how it works. But basically, as you can go and test this out, as you flick through the products on our store, on the store, they will then display um, on this page. They'll automatically refresh. Now we've I've built a number of different layouts, so you can see exactly how this can be, how flexible this is. So this first one's a product list view, okay, and this. And this next one is a um, grid view. And again, you can change the number of products and the layout on each. This is a table, product table layout. But these are all dynamic. These are up, these will update, as you'll see in a second, these will all update dynamically. This is a lovely masonry layout. Uh, this is a flip book layout. And you'll see, if I go and go to my store now, uh, or go to any of my pages. So if I just go to you know um, one of these products, these green shoes, and view it, just the fact of viewing it, and then I go back to this um, page here. Can you see how that product's now automatically displayed at the top? And it'll work on any of these layouts. You see it's there and in the product table. So these, these, all these blocks are being dynamically updated every time your customer goes to view, um, view the site. There we go, there it is on the flipbook. So it's really, really cool. This is how it works though. So let me just create a new page just to show you how the block actually works. Uh, this is just my title, but as I said, you can put these in your shop page if you're building a custom custom shop page. If you want to know how to do that, I've done a tutorial on it. Or custom category pages, again, I've done tutorials on those so you can see how to create those. Um, or it could be in a blog post. You could put these in a blog post as so, so people are viewing your blog posts. They're seeing the products that they've viewed, viewed, throughout, uh, viewed throughout your website. So as I say, it just comes as a block with uh, the Storefront Blocks plugin. Let's find it here. So these are all the blocks that come with storefront blocks. Um, now, sorry, it doesn't come as a block, it comes as an option in all the blocks, which is why it's so powerful. So for example, if I wanted to show them in a nice um, masonry layout, so look at that brick layout, I just select the masonry product grid here, and that will automatically, at, automatically populate with some products, but the key bit is over here on the right. This is where the magic happens. You click on the products panel here, and then select products to show, and this is what you want. You want to show recently viewed products. And that then is going to bring the recently viewed products from your customers into that layout dynamically. Now what you could also do here, if you wanted to pre-populate these, you could also select some of these other products. So let's say they hadn't, they hadn't viewed anything on your store, they would still see something. Okay, but I'm just going to select recently viewed products. 
The other cool thing that we've built into this is a um, conditional heading, okay? Because what you don't really want is a heading called recently viewed products. Let's say you use that heading. But if they haven't looked at any products, you don't just want the heading. So within Storefront Blocks, we've built this really cool bit of functionality, um, which I'm trying to find out. Let's go down. Uh, here we go. Products description heading. And that heading here, and again, you can change the words on it, will only display once they view view some products on your store. So if they haven't viewed any products, they'll basically, it will just be, you know, there'll be nothing there, but there won't be a gap. It'll just, um, like it didn't exist. And there we go. So, and there's my lovely grid, grid layout. And just to prove this works, if I go and view another product, um, let's go and view another product. Doesn't matter which one, let's choose the yellow shoes. And then go back to that page. Can you see how that's now the first product? And again, if I go back to my all my other displays here, there it is in the product list layout. There it is on the product grid layout. There it is on the product table layout. So it's a really, really powerful bit of functionality, I think, that you can really start to um, show your customers what they've been looking at as they browse through your WooCommerce store. And as I say, you can put this on any, um, you can put this on any page on your website. Let me just show you some of the options because each of these layouts is highly customable, customizable. Let me just show you this. I'll just go through each layout just so you can see. Uh, again, over on the right here, I've just selected recently viewed products. So it's going to dynamically update. But within each of these, we've got lots of options to things like um, hide the price, for example, um, hide the add cart button. If you just want it in catalog mode, you can hide the add cart button or that as well. Uh, here's is where you can change the number of products you want to show. So after they've viewed six products, you can limit it. You've got margin controls, you've got typography controls, you've got color controls. So you've got loads of controls and each grid, each layout comes with, you know, its own personal specific set of options. Some are, some are um, apply to others, but here you can set this to be full width, for example, so it stretches the, the full page. Uh, you can change the number of columns to show here. You can change the grid, grid gap. This is pretty cool. Can you see the grid gap, the grid gap changing? Okay. Um, you can add drop shadow to them so you get this nice sort of card layout. You see there's a little elegant drop shadow on it. You can change the label alignment. That is if you're showing the headings. And again, you can change the typography. You can also change the responsive layout so you can set different numbers of columns on desktop and tablet. This is the product table. This has got some cool stuff in it. So with this one, again, you can set the number of products to show, uh, but you can also do things like create little circles out of your product images, which is quite cool. You can change all these columns here. So if you want to change the order, you can just drag these up and down. If you want the image in the middle there, or you can remove some of these if you want to. Uh, we've got these other options here. If you want to show the rating, you can show the rating. These haven't been rated. Uh, with this one as well, you can also, let me show you this, if I can find it. Um, yeah, so you can remove the add to cart functionality. So that's again, that's like catalog mode essentially. See how there's no add to cart. I know a lot of people want to do that. And there's also this request for quote option as well here. So people would basically have to, uh, that would send you an email that would re request a quote. So there's loads of cool options with the product table block, but they're all being, again, these at the moment are being dynamically generated by your customers really. Uh, this is the masonry layout. Again, we've got some cool options to do things like change the the grid gap, I really like that. Uh, you can change the, the height of this as well, all sorts of whizzy stuff. And again, the same sort of options in terms of responsive layout and typography. And there's the flip, flip book one as well. So there we go. Um, there's a look at the uh, recently viewed product block, although it's not a block, it's actually just an option in all these blocks, just that option there. But it's incredibly powerful because you're starting to personalize your customers, the content that they're viewing back to them. And the whole point about this is to um, increase the sales. So there we go. That's the recently viewed products functionality. If you found that useful, if you can give it a thumbs up, that'd be fantastic. If you want more videos around the Gutenberg block editor and WooCommerce, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I produce um, a new one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.